We're down to it. Next to last main event of the year. Myers, you going to pick me a winner yet? No, sir. I'll just remind <laughs> everyone that we're looking at three points between Bale and Bradshaw. Three more points down to Stanton. It's a must win for Stanton and for Bradshaw. Bale can afford to slide. The launch of the charge into turn number one. Decent start for Bradshaw. Great start for Larry Brooks. There's Bale wedged into the hay bales for a moment. Let's see how he escapes from that. He's going to be about fifth or sixth as Brooks jumps out to the early lead and Stanton grabs the second spot. This, the next to last main event of the year. We saw Matasevich move up and take over third spot. Rest of the field comes streaming by as the leaders break away and Stanton goes after Brooks. He wants to get the lead early. He needs to. Now, earlier in the heat races, we have seen a lot of following and setting guys up. Stanton cannot afford to do that. He needs to make his move, make it as quickly as he can. He doesn't want to uh, let Bale, he doesn't want to let Bradshaw get close to him. Well, I'm afraid that uh, it may be too late in that regard because Bale lurks just one position behind Jeff Stanton. Jeff Matasevich is between them in third spot. Bale, the defending series champ, is fourth as lap one goes in the books. With Larry Brooks the leader, but not for long. There's Stanton. Brooks pedaled as fast as he could. Couldn't <laughs> hold him back. He did. So inside of one lap, uh, Stanton made the pass. I would have liked to have seen Stanton try that move a little bit earlier, but uh, he knows what he's doing. You and I are up here, and it's a lot easier from where we're sitting, Dave. Matasevich will go after Brooks for second spot. He's got the spot. Brooks backing up here falls into the clutches of Jean-Michel Bale. Number one does not want to let Stanton get away. He grabs third spot from Brooks and goes after Matasevich. Meanwhile, Kudrowski moves up to fourth and Brooks is now under the gun from Damon Bradshaw. And we had a quick look at Bradshaw rounding that corner and giving chase as you pointed out and that is the key. He is the guy that cannot afford to wait around. He has got to get up there and join them. The Honda guys have gotten away and Damon and Bradshaw is in sixth spot here in the early running at Spartan Stadium in San Jose. There is number three Kudrowski under pressure from Damon Bradshaw. Damon, an eight-time winner this year, looking for win number nine. Goes up, takes the high line around the bales, trying to get after Brooks and Kudrowski, who have their own war for fourth and fifth. So, for Bradshaw, not a great start. We've seen him in this situation a couple of times before, and it bit him. He got excited, and he crashed. And we have also seen him in this position as he makes the pass on Brooks when it did not bite him, Dave. We've seen Bradshaw do everything that can possibly be done this season. The Hondas lead it. We'll be right back where two of the top three in the series standings are also among the top three on the racetrack. Number two, Jeff Stanton is the race leader, and he's got Jeff Matasevich in tow. Damon Bradshaw back in about fifth spot as Bale rides in third and watches this action. I would think somewhat patient. Whoa, whoa, whoa move by Matasevich. Too many riders for Stanton to watch. He was, And here comes another one. John michelle Bale sneaks to the inside. He makes the pass on Stanton. Stanton trying to come back. Here's Bale into second spot. Well, he's out of control. Oh, Bale has crashed. Bale is down hard. He tried to take advantage of Stanton being out of position, and Bale hit that hay bale a ton. He's back on the motorcycle, firing it up, trying to get back into action. Championship points on the line, and Jean-Michel Bale has crashed himself to the back of the pack. Matasevich leads the race. Unbelievable. We, let me quickly point out, Dave, that we had said that, that Bale could afford to maybe not win this race, but I was thinking in terms of maybe second or third place, and now he's got a bad shoulder. Problem he's hurt. Left shoulder. But I was thinking if he finished second or third, he'd still be set up for the championship chase, but not back where he is now. That's going to put him on a contention. A major question about Jean-Michel Bale. Here's how it happened. Stanton on the inside, and I wondered if there were contact there, but I don't see any. I think uh, Bale just come off the top of that jump. He's a little sideways in the sand, Watch and he loses hit. control right there. Look at this. Bang. Bam. See the That's shoulder it. hit the, the hay bale? Going right into that bale. That's what did the damage, and Jean-Michel Bale becomes a very big question mark. Now, you saw him get back on the bike, flexing his arm, and trying to continue. He's back in about 13th or 14th spot. Damon Bradshaw and Jeff Stanton, the two remaining challengers for the championship, are in consecutive positions on the racetrack. They are second and third behind Jeff Matasevich. What a 
a turn. What a development. Uh, you know, if it, if it ends this way with uh, Stanton ahead of Bradshaw, then we've got a points race going into L.A. On the other hand, if Bradshaw can pass Stanton, then he could go to L.A. with as much as a, a six-point lead, and uh, that would mean that he could take a third place and still win the title. What a development. Stanton pushing hard here to keep himself in front of Bradshaw. Big question is Bale, but at best, if he worked a miracle from here, Bale is going to be the underdog going into the final. Ooh, it looked like a potential move by Bradshaw. He didn't pull it off. Bradshaw is, uh, I, I don't know what to say about that, Dave. He just didn't complete or follow through. Now, he could know where he's setting, and he just might be uh, worrying Stanton with everything he's got, just saying, let the chips fall. I've got everything under control. Remember that it was Matasevich who drew. There's oh, the pass, and oh, he took Matasevich all the way to the hay bale. Bradshaw got by oh, both oh, of them. Oh, boy. Stanton came to a complete halt when he tried that block pass. I think a little bit of contact there, and that opened the door. And you know what I'm saying right now? Goodbye. I don't think anyone's going to touch Bradshaw from here on out. 2020 hindsight. We speculated that Bradshaw might be sitting there waiting for the opportunity. Opportunity presented itself in a big way. Damon squirted through the opening, and here's how it happened. Now watch him now. See, Stanton's going to go up high, and there was the problem. Stanton, uh, they made contact, and that just slowed his momentum. And that uh, a wide open Bradshaw come to the inside. It just allowed him to squirt by, take the place, and Stanton uh, played victim to that. But you know what, Dave? I don't know what else Stanton could have done. He needed the pass. Yeah, he, he was he was doing what he had to do, which is go forward. Bradshaw had a four-lane freeway there to drive through after the Stanton bobble as he tangled alongside Jeff Matasevich and lost all his momentum. So, Bradshaw moves to the front. Matasevich, number nine, is now third and under pressure from the defending race champion. That's Doug Dubach getting a piece of the top three here for the first time this season. He makes the pass. He's got the spot. And Cooper comes alongside Matasevich again. Remember what he said about them getting together in the main event? I, that's what I'm looking forward to. I want Cooper to catch Matasevich and let's see what will happen. Now, wait a minute. Don't be a troublemaker. Bradshaw out front. If he can continue from here, it'll be his ninth win of the season. And we'll be back to see if we're back at San Jose where Guy Cooper number five and Jeff Matasevich number nine are battling for top five position here in a race that has been marked by the championship hopefuls with very mixed results. Damon Bradshaw is the leader of the race. Jeff Stanton is running in second spot, but Jean-Michel Bale has crashed himself deep in the pack, and that may be the moment that everybody will remember out of this San Jose event. Unless, of course, Cooper and Matasevich get together, which <laughs> could happen yet. Cooper's on his tail. Matasevich, uh, about six, eight bike lengths ahead, and recalling, of course, their tangle here a year ago when Doug Dubach won the race, and Dubach's having his best ride of the season here this evening. You know, if I'm Matasevich, I look behind me and I see Cooper, I think I'd hear footsteps because uh, Cooper <laughs> owes him a couple. I would say so. In fact, a couple in a row last year at Oklahoma and been here. And so Cooper comes skidding up right to his rear wheel. And indeed, Matasevich uh, riding a little bit with his mirrors, trying to keep Cooper at bay. And Cooper trying to make the charge up and over, and he's got the pass. It made it look easy. It looks like uh, Matasevich has fallen off the face. Well, a Jeff Matasevich has had a history of doing that because of uh, that broken leg. We've talked about that a time or two. Uh, did go all the way toward the end. And here's Bale. He's running back about 14th place. And that is going to absolutely destroy his championship hopes. He crashed hard, hurt his shoulder. Damon Bradshaw moments later squirted into the lead. And Bradshaw has this championship by the throat as we head into the series finale in the L.A. Coliseum. You get a glimpse of Bale. Oh, and Michael Craig is down. In fact, he's been involved in a three-rider crash here just as Damon Bradshaw turns for the checkered flag. Bradshaw coming home for the victory. It's an all-Kawasaki tangle. Mike Kotrowski is back up and on his feet, but also involved in that is Jeff Matasevich. Terrible blow for Team Kawasaki. Yeah, Kotrowski was the first to go down. Craig moved over to miss him, or, or Matasevich, rather, and Craig jumped right on top of him, so all three Kawasaki's are out. Bradshaw heading for the checkered flag. We'll check conditions on those riders for you in a moment. Larry Brooks, who led this thing early, will finish a lap behind, and Damon Bradshaw breaks the single-season record for Supercross victories. The mark was eight, owned by Jean-Michel Bale. Bradshaw tied it the last time out and breaks it here tonight as the fans go crazy in Spartan Stadium. Bradshaw taking a commanding lead in the series championship and finishing a full straightaway ahead of Stanton. There's got to be a psychological advantage in that. If it ends up this way, Stanton finishes second. Bradshaw is going to carry a six-point lead into L.A. 
Well, Stanton lost a lot here tonight. Remember, he had the lead in this race and had both his championship rivals behind him. Bradshaw ended up beating him. Stanton settles for second. Preliminary report is Jeff Matasevich and Michael Craig are both being checked over but do not appear to have serious injuries. Doug Dubach records a top three finish. He inherited that on the last lap in part because of that crash. He embraces his teammate Damon Bradshaw on a big night for Team Yamaha. There